Hey everyone! Today we're diving into a key building block of AI, the perceptron. So what exactly is a perceptron? A perceptron is a simple artificial neuron that helps machines make decisions. It's actually a type of binary classifier, meaning it decides whether something belongs to one category or another, like is this a cat or a dog? Or is this email spam or not? Now let's get into how a perceptron actually works. Here's a quick breakdown of its main components. The first component is the input layer. For example, if we want to classify the image as a cat or dog, the input will be image pixels. An image has thousands of pixels. For simplicity, we only have four pixels shown as x1, x2, x3, and x4. We are feeding our inputs into Perceptron, and it will tell us, is it an image of a cat or dog? Perceptron takes input pixels and multiplies each one of them with a specific weight. All of these multiplied values are now added together, and then the result is passed to an activation function for the final output value. The activation function is a step function that gives two output values either 1 or 0. It maps the input value, in our case, an image to a value of 1 or 0. If the output is positive, then the perceptron is activated and outputs the positive classification. If it is 0, then it is a negative classification. In essence, Perceptron is a single neuron that can take multiple input signals, applies weights to these inputs, and then sums the weighted inputs, passes the sum through an activation function, and finally produces a single output, typically binary, 0 or 1. Now you might be wondering, how do we decide what weights are multiplied by the input? The answer is training the Perceptron on training data. During training, we show the Perceptron a bunch of images, and each time it tries to guess if it's a cat or a dog. At first, it might get things wrong, but over time with trial and error and after lots of practice, it adjusts its weight to get better at making the right decision. Let's talk about types of perceptron. So far we have been talking about single layer perceptron that has only one input layer and one output and no hidden layers, which limits its ability to learn complex patterns. In contrast, multi-layer perceptrons introduce hidden layers allowing them to solve more complex, like recognizing handwriting or detecting objects and images. They form the foundation of what we now call deep learning. More hidden layers in a neural network generally mean that the network is deeper, which is why such networks are referred to as deep learning models. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more AI and machine learning concepts broken down, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates.